Welcome to the On Deck Podcast presented by Line Star, your top MLB player prop bets for today, plus home calls of the day. Alongside my co-host, Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. Happy Monday, everyone. Tyler, you ready to get after some MLB picks today? It's a busy day for us. Monday night football picks and MLB action, so got to give all the picks out, though. All of them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I am ready to get after it. We got, uh, you know, we're coming down to the wire here. Only a few weeks I left know. for the regular season. All right, so let's finish it strong. We are using the Line Star app and the Props AI tool specifically to help us find the best value. If you haven't checked it out yet, highly recommend you do so. LineStarApp.com and our picks are available once again on Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Chalkboard, Parlay Play. If you download those apps for the first time, make sure you use the promo code LineStar so you can get a nice deposit match. Plus, you'll also get one free month of LineStar. Great way to just take a spin around the LineStar app and check it out for yourself at no cost. So Take advantage of that deal while it lasts. All right, let's get into today's MLB slate for today. We've already got some NFL picks for you. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and do so. But let's get into today's slate. But before we do, actually, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. If we go two for two on our picks, one randomly selected commenter will win $50. So you got to be in it to win it. Comment below. Let's get into it. Tyler, what's your pick for today in MLB action? I'm going with an uh, an event-based pick, and we're going Nick. (laughs) Castellanos over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBI. I don't know if you have seen Shannon. Oh gosh, I but have. There has been a run where whenever a big event happens, Castellanos hits a home run. So Wild. there's been a ton of different ones. Last yesterday there was an assassination attempt on Trump. And that means Castellano is going to produce today. I do want to preface it that he did have a walk-off RBI yesterday. Oh so maybe, you know, <laughs> this He's has already, already that- been fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Yes. But Line Star projections, 2.4. Consensus is 1.9. The offense is stacked around him. And Aaron Savale is allowing a 3.99 ERA and a 181 ISO to right-handed bats. So I like the spot for Castellano's along with the fact there's an event for him. It is wild how anytime the announcers are trying to recap some sort of somber moment, that is when Nick Castellanos goes yard every time without fail. And it is wild and well-documented back to like 2020. This is not like a recent trend. It's been going on forever. It's just so crazy. (laughs) It's hilarious. And I (laughs) I just wanted to bring a bit of that. I, I, I think it's fun. (laughs) <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to one of the hottest hitting teams in baseball that now goes to a hitter friendly venue at Coors Field. Oh boy. I'm going with Arizona Diamondbacks, Pavin Smith, higher than one and a half hits, runs, and RBI. Line Star's projection here is 3.3, and he's been over this six of the last 10. But what I'm really focusing in on is this is a lefty bat with a 357 average in the month of September. He's top 10% in barreled balls, top 5% in exit velocity, the last 14 days specifically against righties. And today he'll be going up against Colorado Rockies righty Antonio Senzatella, who's just making his return after being out for like the past year. He went underwent Tommy John surgery last July lie but prior to that he had already had trouble against lefties in fact his career splits he's giving up over an 800 ops to lefties remember mlb average around like 720 for that but then last season when he had just two starts so keep it in mind but he was giving up a 1257 ops to lefties i know that's a small sample size but he's kind of continually struggled against lefties his whole career and now and then behind him remember he's just making his first start so who knows how long he's going to be able to hang in there colorado bullpen 29th in opponent average since August 1st going up against a team that leads major league baseball in all hitting categories in September on base percentage slugging average runs RBIs everything and this has an 11 and a half game total that is so high why because there's 12 mile an hour winds blowing out at Coors Field today altitude matters Pavin Smith's going higher than one and a half hits runs and RBIs today so man those conditions at Coors Field hard to pass up from a prop perspective what do you think about it from a daily fantasy perspective perspective before we get into our bonus picks i i like it i mean they're the highest implied run total by quite a bit i mean mm-hmm. colorado's like one under them but yeah. then you drop even further down to the next team so i, I like the spot for arizona and that's where my bonus is all right take it away then who you got Colorado perdomo over 1.5 hits runs and rbis our line star projection 2.9 consensus is two 
we got nice hitting weather in Coors too. It's mid seventies. Mm-hmm. Winds are blowing out. Perdomo's hitting 280 on the season and has a has the speed where he can score from first base. All he needs to do yeah. is get there. And right. in an outfield that is big as Coors, it allows more uh, you know, people scoring from first, especially when they have speed like Perdomo. All right, let's get it. Tyler, I think you're going to like my bonus here today. I'm going with a Padres bat, Fernando Tatis. Over one and a half hits, runs, and RBI. Line Stars projection endorses this at 2.4 for the projection. He's been over six of the last 10 games. Tyler, 1429 OPS over the last seven days. That is fourth highest in Major League Baseball. He's on a tear. Top 5% barreled balls over the last 14 days versus right-handed pitching. Today going up against Houston Astros righty Spencer Aragetti, who ranks 243 third against right-handed bats he's gotten knocked around the last few starts I think he might have a hard time against this Padres lineup what do you think Tyler you like that pick I love myself some when he's hot. <laughs> yeah especially when he, he's definitely on a hot streak right now that is yep. for sure those are our picks for today for our contest. We're, if we go 2-0, and one randomly selected commenter wins $50. Just a reminder of our picks for today. Nick Castellanos over one and a half hits runs RBI plus Paven Smith over one and a half hits runs and RBI. You can tail us on Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Chalkboard, Parlay Play. Just remember that promo code is LINESTAR when you download those apps for the first time. Now it's time for Home Run Calls of the Day. Tyler, where are you headed for a dinger on this Monday? Well, you already said it, and we're going to Fernando Tatis Jr., plus 340 and hit a bomb. He has a home run in four of five games. He's hitting over 400 over the last week, and Aragetti is allowing 1.3 home run for nine. And more power to right-handed bats. He's allowing a home run on 4% of plate attempts to right-handed bats and a 452 slugging. Doesn't bode well for a guy as hot as Tatis. Let's uh, make Tatis yard. Yeah, I love Tatis for today. I'm going to a Dodgers bat, though. Sorry about it, Tyler. I got to go to your rival here. Tommy Edmond is on a power surge, and his Ooh. home run price here is plus 900, though. Come on, he can't pass that up. He's got five home runs over the last week, and this is a switch hitter that crushes lefties. 429 average, 1290 OPS, 429 ISO against lefties. Remember the MLB average for that ISO stats, like around like 120 or so. And going up against Atlanta lefty Max Freed, he doesn't allow a ton of home runs, but over the last couple outings, he's allowed three. So I think Tommy Edmond is in a good spot. Yes, this is kind of a longer shot, but given the fact that he's had five home runs in the last week, he's on kind of a power surge recently. I don't mind taking him here. Plus 900, why not take a little shot here at Tommy Edmond to go yard? In Atlanta, Truist Park. Let's go. <laughs> what do you think He's about that price tag, lately. though? He's been crushing it. I was like, plus 900? Yeah. Put some respect on that. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can check out our MLB Dinger Report to help you make some home run call decisions. Make sure to check that out, linestarapp.com, because I'm feeling gracious on this Monday. Let's give out our top five on Line Star for Dinger Odds. Kyle Schwarber, Brent Rooker. Bryce Harper, Shohei Otani, and Trey Turner round off the list there. So if you haven't checked it out yet, it's an awesome tool that not only can you bet home run calls, but you can use that for over one and a half bases. I've done that before and been pretty successful with it. So give that a shot as well. Um, Those are our top five today. Good luck in all of your prop betting endeavors for today. Again, if you guys have any locks, we want you guys to drop them in the comments. We're all trying to help each other out to beat the books on this Monday or pair it with some of our Monday night football picks as well. Make sure to check out that show and Tyler's DFS breakdown. So you guys can go crush it out there in DFS as well. Good luck, everybody. Let's have a profitable Monday and we'll see you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. Have a good one.